every project I think, how am I going to handle it when it doesn't succeed? And every time he proves me wrong. Hey, Zach, how you doing? Pretty good. Thanks. Doing community service and volunteerism, it is, to me, a lot of fun. Whenever somebody tells me I can't do something, it actually makes me want to do it more than I did before. Some little boys like to play baseball, some little boys like to play football, and he likes to do charity work. When he did his first project with Hurricane Charlie, he said the thing that it worried most about throughout the whole project is that it was going to end. We had water, but the people that got hit by Hurricane Charlie didn't have water. He and his sister made some flyers up, and they took them around. And, and then the next day we went around, and collected up the water that people had sent out. The local TV station was collecting, so we took it down. And after about the three or four trips, they were asking him how he went about collecting. And he was saying how he started with his little red wagon. He'd go door to door to collect. And so they nicknamed him the Little Red Wagon Boy. Why are you doing all this? First, I want to be able to who got hit in the hurricane to have some help. We only have one rule, and one rule is if you start a project, you finish the project. You're not going to quit. When I have to do his paper and I have to list everything that he's accomplished, then sometimes I'm like, wow, that's a lot. Well, I make backpacks for homeless and street kids that have like a food pack, personal hygiene kit, sewing kit, and first aid kit, and stuff like that. But then he wanted to do something that was different, so he started putting a toy in. Well, the other project that we do for homeless kids is um, 24 hours which is where we simulate being homeless for 24 hours. Leaders Club is pretty much a community service club. We only really accept kids that are 13 years old. Yeah, basically, all you get is a box, like an appliance box. You can't have any electronics, no cell phones, no iPods, no game systems, no anything. Okay, which is pretty big for me, yeah. not very big for Spencer. Yeah. <laughs> Zach acts like a normal 10-year-old, but in the end, he's done more than our whole club combined. Recently, last November, I did a 280-mile walk from Tampa to Tallahassee to raise awareness and money and stuff for homeless kids. We raised about $25,000. The walk was supposed to not occur until he was over 12 years of age. Yeah, she's really good to put up with me. Because this is his fun and this is his hobby, everybody wants to say, well, don't you want to let him be a kid? Well, he's being a kid, and he's being the kind of kid he wants to be, and this is it. Now that I've done a lot of projects, and people know that whenever I start a project, I follow through with it, I think people have now started realizing that it's not a joke. He had a choice, you know, of letting people tell him he was too little or to, you know, let it roll off his back and keep going, and he decided to keep going. I want a kid like that. <laughs> If you have a good heart, then you have to use it, you know. It takes a lot of hard work, but it's a lot of fun.